Worlds for Change, we're calling it a distributed world building festival to discover and celebrate the next generation of XR creators. And we're gonna be announcing the winners at South by Southwest. I think what was incredible was that there were so many different types of submissions. It's not only allowing people to expand their mindset around XR and art and technology, but it's also allowing them to get a proper education around what these things do. ASU essentially just launched all of these brand new X-Arts graduate degrees. You have the chance to win one of two grand prize scholarships to one of these programs. It was difficult to judge it because there's a lot of interesting ideas and we have to judge from creativity and the power of imagination. I'd like to, to announce the first Grand Prize winner, which is Victoria Silva. So I'm Victoria Silva. So my project is Leeward, a 3D gardening game about conservation and identity. So the player is an islander returning home to their island after some time away. Throughout the game, you'll take stewardship over the island, restore the ecosystem and community through an indigenous perspective, and sort of heal the effects of colonialism, climate change, and tourism overload. Having um, an understanding of how we impact our own environment is incredible, and that's why I think Victoria's project was absolutely inspiring. I definitely think it had some incredible thought processes around game design, around storytelling, around impact. And I really believe that that project and that idea has the opportunity to potentially change the world. So this project started with a post-it note, <laughs> a vending machine with plants. Like it started with just like repurposing like one old thing. Essentially, I've just been homesick for Guam and like returning home. And then it kind of like moved on from there. It's not just my story guiding people through my experience, but that level of interactivity will allow people to also be able to create their own stories. It is my pleasure to announce the second grand prize winner, Uedeka Basin. I'm Vedika Basin. Grok understands, empathizes, and merges with the user's perspective when they're different and if people have mental conditions such as ADHD, autism, or schizophrenia. The project helps bring about equality and inclusivity. Grog has a series of games and carefully curated challenges that generate awareness and empathy amongst whoever is using it. I think it impacts the future because I haven't seen many opportunities when even imagining the future is crowdsourced and give access to the younger generation. I think if they imagine the future they want to move towards to, then the next step is reverse engineering. What is it that we need to do to get there? I think it has been an amazing beginning. I think this is one of those initiatives that absolutely needs to continue. When you put in a lot of your genuine soul and heart into a product, it's a fantastic and beautiful feeling and it's very heartwarming to see your efforts generate a reward and realize that people do see value where you see potential.